you guys Woo! are awesome because we stayed quiet through the whole intro, yeah. <laughs> unlike the past several episodes. I know. I, we're, I we're realize professionals. that, professionals. Yes. We are professionals. Yes. <laughs> you know, uh, Robert, you know. I get it. He's only here every once in a while. True. So we forgive him for that. But hey, welcome to Message Received, the welcome. segment of Big Red Laser, where we answer your questions that you post in videos. Except we're going to do it different this time. We're going to read off questions in the chat because we're live right now. It's and a live uh, message received. Exactly. Woo! In in a, in a sense, yes. Yeah. Um, the format is usually you know we take comments that are posted under our videos that we yeah. produce, but um, you know. We, we need to give the chat some love as well. We haven't really paid much attention to uh, people in the chat lately. And they have good questions. They that? do. Yes. They do. It's definitely. Um, not our Alex Marshall. Definitely not. <laughs> no. Um, no. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. No, no, no. I, I heard he was some weird British guy who, you know. Who does tech here. Who does tech oh, here. Okay. And, uh, and behind the scenes. I think and, it's a made up name anyway. And he, yeah. he, oh, he always Alex complains. Marshall. Who wants to be named That's Alex Marshall? Anyway? Exactly. He always complains, I heard. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, that guy, nah, He's, uh, we don't yeah. know him, we don't know him. Yeah. Okay, but I do have some questions. The first one is from Georgia Bailey. Georgia, we Georgia. do know Georgia. Yes, we definitely know Georgia. Uh, she has a question, hmm, okay, if you guys were offered to be a voiceover for any game, which game and character would you like to voice over? Well, let's start with the voiceover, yeah, the, the man with the voice, well, who has uh, done some voice work yes. in the past. Yeah, I have, I have. So, uh... No, I, I'm, I, I would, my dream role would be to be uh, the, the lead Final Fantasy character. Oh, of course. The lead in a Final Fantasy character. The main protagonist. So, Titus. No, 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 no. A new, the, the new Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. no, okay. no, no, no. So, no, a new character. A new character. Yeah. So new for, character. I'm available for Final Fantasy 16, 17, <laughs> 18, 19, 20. It uh, doesn't matter how long yeah, I have matter. to wait. It yeah. doesn't matter how long I have to wait as long as I will get there. So, okay. you know, you know when Final Fantasy 250 comes out, maybe we'll hear Tamtu's voice. Listen to my story. <laughs> this may be our last chance. Back when I was still really, really young and saved the world uh. and the crystals, all four of them. Because we will go back to the concert of four crystals. Square Enix. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want the old guy. You don't want no. the old No, you want, want the hero. Do your, do your best Titus impression. <laughs> Titus, I'm sorry. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Live and let die. <laughs> That's but, not too bad. Live but you guys, come on. How, what game would you want a voice for? Um, Ooh, I really liked the voiceover in the Stanley Parable. Mm -hmm. and oh, I, I bet that that's a great script to read, just to make fun of the player. Yeah, yeah, just and, just uh, making fun of them. Yeah. yeah, and and then just 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 uh, just um, I I think like you know in any game where you as a narrator or a character, for for me it's like if I could make someone really frustrated, yeah, that would be pretty cool. You know, just like and the Stanley uh, Parable does that really well by yeah. actually responding to the choices you make. Yeah. You're like okay, then, but yeah. then he decided not to go the other way. Well, yeah, just, that's great. Yeah. You know. <laughs> The best is when you when you're trying to get an achievement, and he's making fun of you for yeah. getting the achievement. He's like, <laughs> "Okay, now go stand on the table. All right, now click this door handle 15 times. Are you still doing it? Okay, now go run to the toilet. <laughs> you have to do all these things. Uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's just great. It's a great game. Um, I think, uh, I think I would like uh, to to be a voiceover actor for one of the fighting games, like maybe Tekken or Mortal Kombat. Oh, hey, even Super Street Fighter. It's like, Hadouken! All that kind of stuff. You know, the funny thing about Tekken lately, since Tekken 6, I think, is that they let the characters speak their native language now. But somehow, oh, yeah, right. magically, oh, yeah, they, do. Yeah, magically yeah. they understand yeah. each other. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. playing through the story mode and like, yeah, people were talking in Japanese, in uh, English, in Korean, and in Spanish even uh, at one point. And, but yeah, in any case, yeah, just one of those characters in the fighting games, mm -hmm. just because, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it seems it, w it would be pretty cool to just uh, like give those characters a little bit oh, of a man. voice. One time I watched this video of uh, how guys, how people did voiceovers for uh, Mortal Kombat games. Mm -hmm. oh, and you wow. see these people just screaming in the booze because, you know, you see, yeah. they, ha they, ha they see the fatality and they have to respond to it. Oh, shit. Like, okay, this is what I would sound like if, my, if someone was, you know, jabbing their fist in my stomach and whatever. Yeah. And it was pretty intense, but really cool to see the process. 
Yeah, voice acting is fun. Mm-hmm. The if guy you, who does Goku, oh, Dragon yeah, Ball yeah, Z, yeah. holy all the shit! Bo- if you see yeah. one of those recording sessions, yep, yeah, that's that's like uh, yeah, a you, workout. You, you really should look it up. Like it's like um, the a- and any of, of the gods. Yeah. Battle of Gods. They recently did one with him and the guy yeah. who does the uh, Lord Beerus one. This is a yeah. really good one. All right. Um, next one is from Timur Sultanov. He says, Tamtu, you seem to be very dedicated to turn-based, even rolling out mysterious voiceover lady robot once. Do you do it because you like it or out of obligation? Hashtag message received. Well, well Tamtu. I love turn-based. <laughs> I love doing it and um, I wanted to keep doing it. I know is that, you know, keeping up with news, sometimes there's no news. And then it's not really uh, worth making. And then sometimes there's the trouble of um, not having a co-host available. Yeah. Um, so we decided to go with a different format for turn-based. Uh, we started off with the first one, and it's going to be a little bit more topical. Uh, I we will try to make it a little bit more, you know, s- still very. Um, uh, what do you say? What do you, have, what do you call it? Um, opinion-based. Now it's opinion-based, but yeah. also. Um, time time sensitive like yeah okay but mostly with you know what's what's hot in that week so we can you know write scripts in advance yeah like this week we were talking about resident evil uh, because resident evil remaster uh came out yeah the uh, origins collection actually which is uh, which is zero and one two oh yeah yeah, yeah, you're right you're right yeah Yeah, so um uh, and uh you know, if you if you know what games are coming out, that might be the topic for turn base. But if something else big happens, you know, we can jump in on that as well. Yeah. But uh, no more game news. If you really want game news, we can f- probably find another solution for that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it's sort of uh, more timeless content. Yeah, in a way. exactly. So a video that's still interesting in, in six months. Yeah. And not this week. That's yeah. that's the idea, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, let's say for example. Um, if we if we could go back to um, the reasons why we think a Final Fantasy VII remake is never going to happen, you know, we can always come back to that. Yeah. In case you know Square Enix decides to, to actually do. make a remake of that game after all, and we yeah. have and instead of changing the titles, yeah, from an old video, yeah, we true. can just make a new video again. Talking about We're Final still uh, waiting on the blonde. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those are, I was going to well, say the same thing. Uh, you know, hey, I'm still training to go Super Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> still training, so it will be blonde. You should do a bit in turn based where you yeah. go Super Saiyan, and yeah. then just and then disappear with blonde. Yeah, hair. first half black hair, second half Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, maybe when the next Dragon Ball game comes out. So yeah, turn based. Um, it's still going to uh, go. It's still going to be there. Yeah, check out the first episode. Yeah. Because, uh, it's on the extra channel. So yeah. everyone in the chat right now, go over to the extra channel. I'm sure Robert will provide you with the link and hit yeah. that subscribe button so we exactly. can get that head start. On mash, that. Exactly. Mash the it's not button. final yet, but mm-hmm. yes. there is stuff. Okay, here's an interesting one from uh, Daniel Delgado. If you could mix two gaming universes and make an awesome new IP, what would you mix? Oh, mix, mix, mix. Good question. Uh, well, I'm really into fantasy, the fantasy uh, worlds. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I have really good, I have really good, nice fantasy worlds in my head. I just don't know which ones to mix. Like, for example, the world of Skyrim would be really awesome. Uh, but then again, like, I'm just also thinking like Fallout Four as well. You know, post-apocalyptic world, world, open world. But then they're both from Bethesda, so you can't really mix those two together. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm not too sure, really, because, like, if, for me, open world, each each open world game has, like, its own own really el- really great elements, and uh, the games that I really think have good, um, good open world is already, like, good enough in itself, like, for example, also, like, the Pokemon world as well, you know, it's, like, it's got, it's, in itself, it's already a really great open world, so... I don't know. I, I think I think it's better just to leave the worlds by themselves and then just you know immerse yourself in one world at a time. Yeah. And depending on the g- game that you play and depending on what you want to play. Mm-hmm. So, um, <clears throat> but if I have, well, I mean, I'd say the world that may, may, maybe maybe like uh, maybe I would want to see how Pokemon would do in like a post 
apocalyptic world, you know, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like, for example, the Pokemons that could all be like, uh, yeah, like charred, charred and very blackened and stuff like that. And also there'll be maybe ghoul Pokemons. I don't know. Maybe like that. Like but, a mature uh, Pokemon. Yeah, like a mature Pokemon That'd be game, crazy, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, if, I think that's like the only two things that I could think of right now that I really want to combine. Mm-hmm. If, if possible, you know? Yeah. For me, it'd be uh, Destiny and Final Fantasy. <laughs> Just make But a- would it mix? Yeah. Yes, of yeah. course. Because yeah. Final Fantasy, each universe, each entry is its own universe. So what if you add all the fantasy elements like uh, and the job classes in with a Destiny-ish gameplay? You know, first a pers- shooter as well? Yeah, mm-hmm. why not? A Final Fantasy shooter, that would be crazy. Yeah, that yeah. Be- I mean, they tried yeah. it with uh, Dirge of Cerberus. But that was still third yeah. person. That was yeah, still it was still yeah. third person. Yeah. But you know, if you if you look at Skyrim, yeah, you know how that worked out yeah. with yeah. the first person magic. Oh yeah, it works. It works really well. Style. You know, there, there's probably something you could come up with. And Final Fantasy fourteen can be played in first person. Oh, okay. Okay. If you could just uh, click the camera and then then you can see from your character's eyes, and yeah. then technically you would be playing the game in first person. They even made a, a VR version for the PlayStation VR. A demo, at least. That's true. VR would be cool. Yeah. Yes. And they could call it FFFPS. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. FFFPS <laughs> yeah. VR. VR X2 uh, remastered remake. Yeah. HD. Uh, yeah. Undying, and, but then, unborn. But then in Latin. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. In yeah. Latin, of and course. And that's in German in there as well, because yeah. they love German. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would mix any good game with any VR yeah. world or headset, because yeah. I desperately want... An awesome VR experience. Yeah, like um, I, I can just imagine, not just a tech yeah. demo, but just like yeah. this is awesome, yeah. and uh, I can play this for hours, yeah. and I'm in the world. Mm. So like a Skyrim inside an Oculus Rift or yeah. PlayStation VR would be my dream game. Can, yeah. can, can, can you um, imagine that? Like you know, uh, riding a dragon and then in VR. Yeah, it's like just flying around, or just and looking, looking down. around, picking yeah. up a sword. Yeah, simple stuff, but. Would, yeah, and be crazy. Like, like uh, I remember, I remember once uh, trying. Like, of course, they have to be careful with that. But I remember once playing Black Ops in 3D. That didn't work out too well. Mm. But I would love to play like the uh, a first-person shooter game uh, in VR. You know, mm. like, like like the like, oh, the, like yeah. I did the, yeah, like the trailer, <coughs> the Omni VR, yeah. like the, like the Omni VR, yeah. But then like an actual full proper game you know like battlefield style with like where you can just turn around and see like well, all the know, buildings and um, stuff like that our salesperson uh, this morning Polly, he went to uh, this uh, demonstration where uh, a virtual reality uh, device as well I mean, it was with the Oculus but then all this, they also had like the, these accessories and in order to reload he actually had to do the reload uh, movement oh, okay. and then shoot yeah. so I yeah. think they might actually have advanced since my demo yeah, uh, yeah definitely yeah, yeah definitely. that's uh, the Vive the Vive yeah. has like like all sorts of um, accessories, s- accessories, yeah. and you actually need to reserve an empty room to play it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want the full experience, which is course, crazy, but it's awesome. And yeah. I can also imagine the games would be like a few hundred, a uh, few hundred terabytes, you know, yeah. of game of game. Not necessarily. Well, of course, maybe in the future, but like for now, it's not. You do now, need a bitty, uh, uh, beefy PC. Yeah, to a run very that. beefy. Yeah, PC. for sure, so, for sure. But what if you? Beefy. Instead of having it like, you know, they first will have to create like. Maybe it will be uh, be the return of arcades, arcade halls, yeah. where you can go to oh, these yeah. places for such an experience, and That'd that way cool. you can limit yourself into not you know <laughs> being in it the whole time, like gaming the whole time, but just yeah. go in for like an hour or two, and then go out and then do your own thing again. It's like so that way you don't spend the rest of your day in <laughs> VR. That is the danger, yeah. Yeah, right. that is the danger. But that way you can kind of you know restrict it or uh, at least you know keep an eye out on the. Yeah, the usage of it. Oh man, can you imagine like they they they're gonna build like football stadiums just for VR experiences? That'd be crazy. That would be just, so just crazy. Just an uh, office building with empty rooms. Yeah, You're empty like, rooms. Happening? Yeah, it's a VR building. Uh, yeah, and, and like and like with all <laughs> or or with like all of these sets of like omni omni VR right next to each other, you know, yeah. and like just tons of people just walking around with guns and actually walking this time. Actually, when it comes to that, I think it would be more of a Hololens thing. That that could work too. That could work too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because then it would augment. Th- that way, you don't just have empty spaces. But like, if if we could run around, have like a scenario, they showed that demo 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for yeah. Hololens, where they were just having a presentation, but everyone wearing Hololens could see that there was these huge enemy yeah. alien tentacles coming out of the wall, um, and they the other guy was just shooting shit at it. So, yeah. you know, yeah, and I think that would be yeah VR augmented reality. It's yeah, you know, it's, it's coming. Funny. So many and, ideas. Uh, it's finally, in a good place. Yeah, can't wait. Face yeah. wants to know. Question for message received. Where do the names Big Red Laser and Zoom In come from? <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. Well, that Big Red Laser, that, that was my, uh, my brainchild. I uh, invented the name. And I just wanted a name as stupid as possible. So then I went with, <laughs> okay, Big, what, what's, yeah, Big Red Laser. And it's, yeah, it's spelled uh, Laser. With a, la- laser with, with a Z. With an o. That yeah, makes it even Z, more yeah. stupid. And it's fun to say. Big Red Laser. Big Red Laser. Mm-hmm. URL. Yeah. yeah that's and cool. Zoom In is just the company we work at. Yeah. So you have to talk to our boss. Who I think they started it ten years ago. So yep. Yeah, yeah. I think it has something to do with the cameras, but I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, going deeper into the subject, zooming in. True. Zooming in onto the subjects. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raging Shadow Nine asks uh, if you guys had a chance to create your game, what kind of game would be? We kind of. Uh, yeah, we kind of asked. Yeah. Ask that. VR answer. probably. Yeah. Yeah. For you, it's probably VR. Yeah. VR and. Uh, yeah. You you know I'm I'm am I'm, I'm still I'm still waiting for a uh, fully open world Pokemon game. That's that's all I'm asking for. You know, fully open world Pokemon game, and go everywhere, mm-hmm. customize your Pokemon. I don't really care. Just give me one of those games. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for me it's, it's just a hi- uh, a Final Fantasy Destiny hybrid. Yeah, for yeah. Now. Just like the combination of both. And then worlds. and 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 of course then add VR to it so I can actually feel like I'm exploring the world. Yeah. So it's not too much to ask. No. no. Well, it's, it's the same with me, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, a Pokemon game in VR would be fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Like, you can actually throw the ball and see the Pokemon pop up in front of you. Yeah. Nero Winters asks, so why did Terra leave Evil Grin? Well, there's no... There's there's a f- completely uh, normal explanation for that. Uh, and it's on her personal yeah. channel. You know, if she, you if you Google her, like one of the first things I show up is why I quit Zoom in. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. we you know she left, uh, but you know, we have no problems with her. No, yeah. no, that's a long time ago as well. No. Yeah, it's like yeah. over a year ago. Yeah, yeah. So she, yeah, she had she had a reason for leaving, and uh, you know, it's not it's not like we left off on a bad foot or anything. Yeah, no hard feelings. It's just all. it's just yeah. If you if you if you want to know why she left, just uh, check out the video. She yeah. explained perfectly fine how why she left and for what reasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do two more. Okay. Um, how long, from Piotr Pajak, uh, how long do you think the current generation of consoles will last? I think we still have a good four years left, at yeah. least. Um, especially on the PS4. I mm-hmm. think uh, uh, Uncharted will be amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think especially at the tail end of, of consoles, you see amazing stuff. People are kind of uh, upset about certain details that came out about the NX. Really? Yes. Yeah? What kind of details? Um, they, uh, th- the details is that well, it, they're going to release a system in two parts. First mm-hmm. part is going to be the, the handheld yeah. par- uh, portion of the system, which will run games at 900p, okay. but 60 FPS. Now, wow. people okay. were, you know, losing their minds over it because 900p, that's just like the Xbox, blah, 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 blah. But when you think about it, most games on Xbox One and PS4 run higher resolutions, 900 yeah. or higher, but at 30 FPS. Yeah, exactly. So Yeah, exactly. And it, I mean, 900p on a, s- a screen this big... Yeah. Uh, is amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's like a higher pixel density than 4K, maybe even. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so and, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's and just I, a number. I, I think I think people really underestimate how much of a difference 60 FPS makes compared to 30 FPS. But also that is sort of an empty yeah. statement because I can make a 60 FPS game with like black and white graphics. Uh, you yeah, know? of course. So of course that doesn't say kind of games, that, that, that says nothing about yeah. the quality of the game or exactly. the graphical. Um, yeah, strength yeah. of the machine. Yeah, exactly. It, it, for for most games, you have to really have to experience it on on in different ways because all, everyone experiences a game differently. Like we have this discussion all the time. I like you say you notice the difference between thirty and sixty. I don't. Well, you, know? you do mm-hmm. too. If you switch yeah. from Halo directly into Call of Duty, <coughs> well, yeah. you notice it. Yeah, but I I never make that direct of a switch. Oh, yeah. okay. So I never really see it. To yeah. be honest, yeah. uh, and it's not like I'm against 
like uh, like I, I want people to make prettier graphics in favor you know in favor of prettier graphics that they have to limit it to 30 so they can ma- make bigger, yeah. prettier worlds like they do in Destiny yeah. Yeah. for example um, but no no I want games to progress I want games to look excellent like Halo 5 Guardians runs at 60 FPS but looks like shit That's does true. it though? I, I feel it looks like shit okay it looks like a, a glorified PS2 game Really? Whoa. <laughs> uh, Shots fired. Damn. Th- those are no, compare, some fighting no, words. Com- uh, yeah, but compared to graphics in other shooters, no, yeah. Halo could have been, looked a lot yeah. better. Sp- like, the cutscenes are amazing. Cutscenes are amazing, but when, when, it, when it gets down to it, all the multiplayer matches I watch looks kind of... Meh. Meh. Yeah, I, and, and they did it for, for multiplayer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, in the campaign, you don't need 60 FPS. No. no. But in a multiplayer shooter, it makes a big difference. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So it's all about what you what, what are they currently willing to sacrifice for mm-hmm. a console experience. Yeah. Uh, and as, you know, as games are getting better, especially on PC, you know, if you re- want a really, really good gaming experience, you know, you should definitely play it on PC. Yeah. Well, let's let let's talk to sure. Mr. Master Race over here. <laughs> what do you mean? You Master you uh, bought a very pr- actually an awesome yeah. PC with with a good graphics card, and one of the joys you said yeah. was just ultra settings, se- yeah. 60 FPS, <laughs> um, also on Fallout. And I played the game on PS4, and it runs like shit. Yeah. But I still had fun with it. Yeah, yeah. But to 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 have that must be amazing. Well, right? the, the the thing was like um. Before I actually built, I actually built a good PC for gaming. I was a console gamer. I had the PS2, then I had the Xbox 360, and I always played on those. And I also had a PS3 as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I, I, at one point, I just decided, you know, my PC was getting just too, too crappy, and I really needed a good one. So I built it, and it was fine. It was a good PC. Uh, but then after, after a while, it became the graphics card became a bit old. I yeah. still had the GTX 5, 560, you know. Oh, wow. so now you upgraded like, to the exactly. 980, so, right? Yeah. So now I, I bought no, I bought the 970, mm-hmm. and and it's a, it's really a beast. Uh, it was so big that it didn't even fit in my old PC. That's case. awesome. Right. You need That's a awesome. new case need, for that. I wow. needed a new PC case. That, that that was it. And also with the graphics card, I also got the Metal Gear Solid 5, and I remember uh, I finished downloading it. And uh, the first, when I opened it up, the first thing that hits me in the face was how good the 60 FPS on that it's game true. was. Like, yeah. but the, that's the f- actually a bad example because that looks great on PS4 and runs at 60 on PS4. Yeah, no, no. Of but, course, if you, but if you if you look but, at The Witcher, which yeah. you also played, yeah, that was silky yeah, yeah. smooth. Yeah, no, no, right? that, that was silky smooth. But yeah. but it was just for me, it was like the switch between uh, Xbox 360 crappy gra- uh, yeah, 30 but, FPS. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. you're talking about it. Yeah, two no, no, jumps. No, of course, two of jumps. course, of course. But that that yeah. was my that was my experience. All in all. All in all, consoles do uh, what they're supposed to do and yeah. offer a game I, experience. I'm not saying yeah. that they're bad. Yeah, no. if you're not, if you're really into the details, like as long as a console can give like a good co-op experience, then it's all about the fun you can have. With exactly. It. Yeah, of course. Exactly. And, of course. Uh, and completely when it comes agree. To that, PC has a little bit more difficulty on getting four people to play together on a PC as if you don't have four wireless controllers or yeah. something. That's true, yeah. yeah but we, any yeah. or most multi-platform games always run the best, of course, on an uh, extremely expensive PC. Of yeah. course. But that's not even a competition. That's no. like, okay, this thing costs 10 times more, so of course yeah. it's got to be better, so... Yeah, it's, yeah it, it's like, okay, so do you want a 500 euro console or do you want like a 2,000 yeah. euro PC? Yeah, it's like, there's just no comparison, And honestly, you know? to a lot of people, it doesn't even matter. Exactly. Yeah. So. And like, if we were to have a, a sprinting contest over here, we could sprint as much as we want, but as soon as Usain Bolt comes along, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna lose. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no so you're saying Usain Bolt is the master race? <laughs> Pretty much. When it comes to, sprint, <laughs> when it comes to sprinting, I, I, I don't think anyone anyone can disagree there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, the last one is from whoa, PC master race, but laptops. Oh my god. Okay. Don't mind me. Uh, Still struggling. Mm-hmm. All right, last one is from Robert Rekkeweg. He wants to know what brought you guys to video games. Any particular event in your lives? Well, when me it started, uh, just the classic story. I went over to a friend's house, saw the NES, played on it, and it was just blown away by uh, I think it was Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and then my parents bought it for me for my birthday, and I had it at home. And uh, it was actually funny because they they practiced all night and. Uh, I was already better 
by the time they gave me the gift because I was practicing at my friends, of yeah. course. Yeah. And uh, never looked back, back, back since. That was just like something I loved doing. And uh, uh, back then I didn't have many games, but mm -hmm. it was just even Super Mario Bros. today uh, still, still gives me fun and mm -hmm. it's still mm -hmm. fun to play. So. That, that was when it clicked for me and then yeah later on I had like multiple consoles and all that stuff um, yeah so I, I started with the NES hmm. actually actually yeah same here I had I had a few bouts with um, like cassette based old computers mm -hmm. like like some old Commodore or Atari whatever oh wow and yeah. with actual cassettes tapes yeah. like the ones you, that you put in your Walkman if anyone yeah. still remembers what a Walkman is I know you're eight now, yeah. <laughs> but uh, a few bouts with that. But it was really uh, for me as well until the NES, when uh, when I started getting into games a lot more. And then also for my birthday, I got the the the, the pack with the zapper. Yeah. Ah, oh, the zapper. Duck Hunt. Yeah, the Nintendo Duck Hunt dual cartridge. Yeah. And then uh, my dad just kept renting games for me. Uh, like one time, I got this gold cartridge. I was like, "Oh, what's this?" Like Zelda. It's like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it wasn't a platformer, so uh, it wasn't until much later that I really delved into uh, the different types of games, and uh, really learned that hey, there's really cool storytelling in it, and that really inspired me because as a kid I drew a lot. But so, is, is Final Fantasy your first RPG ever? No, 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 no. no. That would be uh, Lufia Two. Uh, oh, oh, Lufia, Lufia Two on the <laughs> Super Excellent. Nintendo. Yeah. It is the, my yeah. my first JRPG ever, and it will forever be the best to me. And yeah. I'm glad they remade it on the DS years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, again, back on the whole advancement of uh, graphics you know, uh, and technology, the, I read an article that the creator of Lufia 2, he was finally able to make the game he wanted to make, but couldn't because of the yeah. Super mm. Nintendo uh, lim limitations. Mm. Okay. So that's cool. It's all nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, it, it it's gonna sound very dumb, but yeah, it it was the same for me as well. The the Pokemon NES. Pokemon on the N sixty four. No, 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 no. no the no? NES. Uh. NES was really my first. Ex like I remember, um, because uh, I grew up in Vietnam, and uh, back then we didn't have a lot of money, so you know, it was just like for me as a kid, it was mostly just playing outdoors and things like that. But uh, That's I remember. Weird. That's just <laughs> playing outside, guys. Yeah. What's that? But uh, I remember like uh, the first time one of the kids in 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 our street he got he got the NES and you know he was the, everyone was like all the kids were like oh my god this guy has an NES let's go to his house yeah. check it out and yeah. stuff like that uh, yeah, and yeah. I remember yeah he he bought home the he he showed us a zapper and that was the first my first experience with gaming was with the Duck Hunt and the zapper. And uh, that's I, why you're such a shooter fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Went from ducks to zombies to uh, soldiers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was my first experience with gaming. Was with the Zapper. And uh, but but what really uh, really got me into gaming was my first time I played with the uh, with the Game Boy, the Game Boy, the color, oh, the yeah, Game Boy that color. Was amazing too. Because to yeah, me, yeah, yeah. I, at that point, it, it blew my mind because I was like, oh my god, this is something you can take with you. You can yeah. play wherever you want. And, you know, at that time, I was just like, oh, my God, the graphics are so cool. You know, it's like yeah. just mm -hmm. little pixels on it's the, on the, on the, on the screen. It's not going to get any better than this, right? Yeah. That's impossible. And, yeah. uh, and then, yeah, then began all the long nights of supposed to go to sleep, but staying up in bed, playing Game Boy Color, yep. uh, stealing battery remotes, <laughs> <for> batteries <laughs> from the remote to play your Game to Boy keep Color. Playing, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, and, and then I got a Dreamcast after that, which then was also, like, one of the best system that you can play games on i probably still have it somewhere but i don't know mm -hmm. where it is probably like gone by now i think but yeah so what really opened up my mind to gaming was that it's portable and you can carry it around anywhere you well, want the nx is coming up so that sounds like <laughs> yes. something you would uh, enjoy nice you know, while Nintendo. we were waiting <laughs> while we were waiting for the live show to start it's like uh you know you were waiting on your phone for the phone yeah. call which still hasn't gone yeah I, I, I need to check my messages uh, but uh yeah. but yeah it was all uh you know you know you were probably playing a game Viet yeah. was playing a game and i was just uh, you know texting my girlfriend yeah I, you know, I don't really game much on my phone anymore. <laughs> but uh, but we should go back to playing games. So yeah. thank you guys for your messages in the chat uh, yes. this time. Thank you for your questions. Of course. And yeah. uh, I, I don't know how much time we uh, spent on this this time. But hey, I, we had fun. 
Yeah, we, we have weird fun just uh, yeah. going with these questions without thinking too much about questions posted. But that doesn't mean we don't want them. So be sure to leave your message and your comments or questions uh, in the video below. Yeah. In the comments. In, <laughs> in the, the comments, comments below the video. Below the video, <laughs> uh, which will be on the extra channel from now on. Yes. So in case you're wondering where it is or on social media yeah. and in the app and uh, we'll be sure to find them. So I'm Tam2. Tim. And I'm Viet. And this was message you received. We are going back to Big Red Laser. Pew, pew.